friendly mo have incoming. What is going on all you sexy zombie slayers out there? Yodi Slay here bringing you another Modern Warfare 3 commentary. Welcome to day 28 of Moab May where I am bringing you a Moab every single day of May. Today I've got a domination game here on the phone. Did you notice I didn't call any of you guys out there genital? I hope you guys uh, appreciate that. You are not a genital for today. Uh, maybe you like being a genital. I don't really know. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I got a domination game on Fallen. This is going to showcase this sea spawn trap that I've showed previously in this Moab, which is what I think is the best way to get a Moab. Well, which is the most surefire way to get a Moab. There's probably other easier ways to do that, which is just going ham in their shitter, a.k.a. the spawn. Um, but I like to become a ninja and just kind of stay off the radar and go about my own pace in doing so. I'm not trying to get triple Moabs. I'm not trying to get quadruple Moabs. I'm not trying to get Cinco Moabs here, people. I was just trying to get a Moab to showcase to you guys that may struggle here on Fallen how to get the easiest Moab. And this game, you will see me go through the routes and take those necessary steps in getting that Moab and what I think is an easy Moab, which is, revolves around the C-Spawn. This is not how you do that, by the way, but you will see me go into that... Uh, you know, into that C spawn trap mode. If you've seen my previous Fallen Moab, where I went 48 and 0 using this strategy, you guys will probably know what I am talking about. But I'm not going to talk about the gameplay today. I want to talk about a couple issues. Well, one's an issue, one is just some ideas. Uh, first, we'll start off with the issue. Uh, for those that follow me on Twitter, and some of you may know, I recently upgraded my computer to run, uh, to boot up off of an SSD, and I also bought a Velociraptor hard drive which is supposed to have the fastest write speed of any hard drive on the you know on the market which I don't really know I just took some people's words for it and ordered the stuff now SSDs really are fast they're like blazing fast compared to, compared to hard drive so like my computer boots up like snap crackle pop it's it's booted up dude but you know I wanted to get a faster hard drive because when I was using Fraps or Bandicam to record PC gameplays, you know, there for a while my Bandicam recording started getting really choppy. I'm not really sure why. I was just thinking maybe the, it was just a hard drive. So I wanted to get a hard drive, which aka is the Velociraptor. I wanted to get a hard drive to, to use solely for recording. So that's what I'd done. But in doing so, I had to switch all my, you know, I did have one, one terabyte hard drive that was all in my, that was the only thing I had in my computer. But when I upgraded all this stuff, I had to move all my, you know, my operating system to my SSD, and then I had to clear out my old hard drive, and it was just a bunch of crazy steps that this retarded dude, aka Yoder Slayer, had no idea what to do. Why do I keep saying aka? I don't know. Aka, I'm stupid? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but I didn't really know what to do. And I accidentally deleted Vegas off of my system the other day, and I had to get Vegas 10, re-download it. And ever since, I mean, I'm using the same render settings, I'm using the same everything that I was doing previously without any problem, without any hiccup. But now it keeps saying, like, if I try to render in the 1080, which I've done for ever now, and I'm not doing anything different than what I did before. It says my system memory is too low. I've got 16 gigs of RAM. My computer is running at 3% CPU usage, pretty much constant, which is like 2.6 gigs and or something like that. I don't know, but I got a little like odometer thing on my computer and it says my my CPU usage is 3%. I'm not using anything. I don't have anything open that I never, you know, that I didn't have before, but now it's saying my system memory is low and I don't really know what to do. I'm thinking that I installed my Vegas Pro to my SSD, which has only got like 35 gigs left on it. I bought a 240 gigabyte hard uh, SSD, but I'm not really sure what files and folders and programs I can... I'm not, I don't want to delete too much because I don't want to delete my operating system off of it. So I'm just kind of slowly picking at and deleting stuff off of this SSD to get it down to free up some more space on it. But what I think the problem is, and for you, you computer guys out there, let me know if I'm correct on this. I think I just installed Vegas Pro to my SSD, which is a 240 gig SSD with only 32 gigs left. Is that why it's saying system memory is low because, you know, it's trying to store those files? Whenever I save my projects, I, I save them to a, you know, a one terabyte hard drive. I don't save my, doc, you know, my uh, Vegas projects. I don't save them to the SSD. And when I render my videos out, I save them to another one terabyte hard drive. So it re really doesn't matter about this SSD, I don't think. But I'm thinking that's what I need to do. I think I need to change the location of where I saved Vegas Pro, you know, to... 
I don't think I need to have it on that SSD. Leave in the comments if you guys have a answer to this because it's really bugging me, man. Like, you know, I want to bring you guys the best quality that I can, and I really enjoyed, up, uh, you know, uploading those 1080p videos lately, but... You know, Moab made, the last Moab made was in 720 because I tried to render it like literally 15 times and this thing would fail right at the very end every time. I'd be like one minute left and then it pops up, pop up system memory too low. Now I'm going to try to render this in 1080. If it's rendering in 1080, I may have got something, or if it's uploaded in 1080, I may have got something correct. But if it's in 720, it's because I had that problem again. So help me out and check out this retard right here. You ain't Grizz, kid. You ain't Grizz. And I ain't only use me blade for shizzle. Um, but yeah, if you know what the answer is or you can help me out, leave in the comments. I'll be more than happy to chat with you on the Skypes uh, so you can work me through my problem. Uh, maybe you can be the Dr. Phil of Yoder's PC. Um, but yeah, we're going to move on from that subject now and talk about some uh, ideas that I've come across. Now, Modern Warfare 3 just had the DLC and they got those face-off maps. I've not played any of them, but I've seen plenty of videos of these maps, and they look awesome. They literally look like some of the best maps that have come out from Modern Warfare 3. Leave in the comments what your opinions are on these face-off maps, and tell me if you agree with this. I want to see these maps in a regular playlist. I don't want to see them in face-off. I want to see these maps in 6v6 domination. They're small maps, but Shipment and COD 4 was small maps. Dome is a small map. I want to see these face-off maps in a regular playlist. Tell me how awesome that would be. You know, people are like, dude, it would just be crazy. These maps are so slow or so small. That's the point. These maps are so small. Just think of the chaos. Think how awesome that would be. Shipment was pretty much everybody's favorite map of Call of Duty 4. The, you know, Nuketown was the favorite map of Black Ops. The small maps are always the favorite maps because it's chaos. You can get 100 plus kills games. You know, think of Nuketown 24-7. They did that because people would get so many kills they could rank up so quick. You know, they do Nuketown 24-7 on a double XP weekend and people will go up, up like five prestiges in one day. Not really, but you know, seriously, you would rank up like crazy. I want to see these face-off maps in a domination playlist, headquarters playlist. Not necessarily ground war, but, you know, I want to see them in a 6v6 playlist. I think they would be awesome. You know, tell me if you guys agree. You know, I could be wrong. I've not played the maps, but, you know, there's one, I think it's called Erosion. that has, like, a oiler, like a boat or something, maybe. Um, I don't really know the maps, so I'm, I'm not even going to try to go to their names. But there's also another one that looks like you're in a house and they got, like, a swimming pool and a garage back there. That Dude, they look so legit. Vicstar actually got the uh, Moab with Ali A in it in the 2v2 face-off. If you've seen that video, that's the map. I don't know what it's called. Um, but, dude, I think these maps would be awesome in a 6v6 playlist. So if you think so and you agree, let's tell Infinity Ward about this, man. Tweet it to Infinity Ward, which is this, at Infinity Ward, and say, dude, Put these face-off maps in, you know, a normal playlist. Not necessarily Ground War, like we said, but a 6v6 playlist. I think it would be epic. I want to get some Moabs on these little bitty maps, man. Because in Call of Duty 4, my highest kill streak, and if this is really crazy, is a 43 kill streak that I got off of shipment. My highest kill streak in Black Ops, guess what map it came from? Nuketown. I do good in little bitty maps. Dome, look how many Moabs I've posted on Dome. I like being up in the people's shitters. I like being face-to-face -face with these dudes. Okay, then, then you guys will be like, well, Yodi, if you like being in her face, face off is probably the thing for you. I just like killing more people. If I could, I'd have ground war on these little bitty tiny maps. But the reason I don't play ground war as much is because the lag is just recalculous. And I get hosed so much, and the lag compensation just cock blocks you anyways. So I just don't play ground war. It's just, I can't connect very good to it because I, I usually get hosed, and the lag compensation just does one of these. Fucking smacks me right in the goddamn face. Uh, excuse my French there, people. But anyways, let me let me know what you think in the comments here. If you know how to help my Vegas issue, or if you want to see these face-off maps in a you know a 6v6 playlist, let's tweet this shit to Infinity Ward. But I hope you guys enjoyed this day 28 of Moab May with a domination game here on Fallen. If you did, please remember to rate and subscribe, Yodi. Gotta know!